Chiri has some truly big potential to bring to the game something that players have been asking for a very long time. And Hoyoverse has shown some hints that she could. For those expecting some sort of a meta guide, this ain't that video. Instead, we will be looking at her position in the game and how that could correlate back to us, the players, and could help bring us something we've been demanding for a while. For those of you that don't know, Shiori is a 5-star Geo character that dual wields swords to dish out damage and support her team. But we aren't going to be focusing on her gameplay or kit as I've mentioned before, we're going to take a look at her in-game role because that is far more important for the future of the game. Shiri is known for being a fashion designer and has her own boutique in Fontaine, and has made the outfits for Linny, Lynette, Navia, Kirara, and Ayaka's skin too. And that's what I want to focus on. Skins. It is very apparent that Genshin Impact does not release many skins, which is pretty shocking considering how great skins are for generating revenue. The other thing to point out is that all skins released so far have been in-game tie-ins, whether it be for the main event of the current patch, like the summer outfits for Jean and Barbara, or tied to some lore like Deluxe skin and Lisa's skin. In those two examples, it was tied to outfits they've worn in the past. They seem to have given themselves some golden rule that all skins need to make sense within the world of Teyvat, so immersion is not broken. An interesting move considering that it is shooting them in the foot and preventing them from generating a substantial amount of income. It also means that anyone coping for bikinis or bunny suits are never going to have their wishes come true, probably. Whether that is a decision that has been made since the start, or that came about because of the amount of hate and complaints people gave when we got a character like Aloy, at this point we will probably never know, but it is a fact that there seems to be these rules applied for at least skins, among other things. But in comes Shiori, a fashion designer, an in-game reason to have a multitude of skins for just about all characters. Hoyo have already put that into effect, but it might be time to crank it up and start releasing more through Shiori. It would be pretty easy too. Just make it an event. Take for example all the filler patches that we tend to have um, after the Archon quest is finished. This could actually make filler patches a little bit more interesting and can even make it kind of fun. And with the ideas I will be listing below and going through, it could even get the community more involved and these suggestions are the following. You start off by getting RRL artists to submit skin designs for a specific character, and Hoyo would internally select some that would be added in-game, and Shiori would be the one to have designed them. And within a story quest or an event, you would have the players select which one they prefer. Hoyo then waits for that event to end and tallies up the votes by going through the game logs of each player because they have access to that, as they already do this with the Tevat times, so it shouldn't be difficult because they'd be doing the same thing they've been doing this whole time. Throughout all those votes, there is one winner and that character gets that skin. This would give confidence to Hoyo that it will sell well since it won a popularity vote and the artist that won should be given an adequate prize for it while all other participants should get primo gems of various amounts depending on how far they went in the contest. Following that, Chiri could also hold an amateur fashion design competition. You can have IRL artists submit their work and this time the selected ones would be put in game on an NPC or a playable character of the artist's choosing walking the runway and a traveler gets to pick their favorite and therefore the winner of this particular competition. And with this particular event, the in-game designers competing would not be seen, only their names mentioned. Top winners would get the skin released and the artist would get an adequate prize as well. After the end of the competition, Shiri might take an interest on the winner, which can lead into this follow-up. The IRL artist that won could then be invited to Hoyoverse to help design a new character. That character would be the winner of the amateur competition. Shiri, who takes an interest in the winner, would then decide to take the winner as her apprentice in fashion design, and that character's outfit could be designed by the 
IRL artist that won that previous competition. And then that in-game character, that apprentice Chishiri, could be released as a 4-star down the line. This now allows character skins to not just be created by Shiri, but by her apprentice as well. And if she gets more apprentices, it, or if other fashion designers in general could appear to further allow more skins and not just be carried by Shiri alone. And that way you could have different styles of designs as well. It would be simpler if Immersion was thrown out the window and Hoyoverse just made skins, but this is how we can get more skins while still maintaining Immersion within the game. And it sounds like a pretty fun way to, of doing things to also get the community involved. The thing is, will Hoyo do this? Or is Genshin Could Never going to continue to be the running joke for the game's lifespan?